Yo, foodies. Want to conquer Roman street food like a local? Top 5 must try dishes. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Eating Around the Globe, where we stuff our faces with the good stuff from all over the world. Today, we're taking a trip to the Eternal City, Rome, and diving headfirst into its incredible street food scene. Forget fancy restaurants, the real magic happens on those bustling street corners. So, grab your napkins, cause we're about to unleash the top 5 Roman street foods you need to try. Number 5. The OG of Deliciousness Roman Style Pizza This ain't your dominance delivery, folks. Roman Pizza or Pizza Otaglio is a thin and crispy masterpiece. Forget the cheap dish stuff. Here, it's all about the perfectly balanced crust. They use simple ingredients, flour, water, yeast, olive oil, and salt, with the magic is in the slow rise and high temperature bake, giving it that signature airy, light texture, plus, the toppings are fresh, simple, and oh, so, Italian. We're talking mozzarella, tomatoes, maybe some prosciutto or other chunks, pure flavor bombs in every bite. Trivia, did you know pizza wasn't always considered fancy food? Back in the Roman days, it was a street food for the working class. Number 4. Creamy Dreamland Spaghetti alla Carbonara This next dish is a Roman classic, Spaghetti alla Carbonara. Picture this. Perfectly cooked spaghetti tossed in a rich, creamy sauce made with pecorino and Romano cheese, silky egg yunks, and crispy guanciale cured pork cheek. A sprinkle of black pepper adds the perfect finishing touch to this masterpiece. Warning. This dish is highly addictive, so come hungry. Fun fact, there's a whole debate about using cream in carbonara. Traditionalists say no way, or advice. Try it both ways and see which one you prefer. Number 3. Bite, size, voice, sharply, are basically the cuttest, most delicious things ever. Imagine golden fried rice balls filled with a molten mozzarella center and a burst of tangy tomato sauce. These little flavor bombs are perfect for a quick snack on the go. Just be careful, the first bite can get super steamy. Did you know? They're also called Roman croquettes. And they were originally invented as a way to use leftover risotto. Talk about resourceful. Number 2. Pillows of Perfection, Noki o Pomodoro e Basilico. Next up, we have Noki o Pomodoro e Basilico. Light and fluffy potato gnocchi bathe in a vibrant tomato and basil sauce. The gnocchi themselves are like little clouds, perfectly cooked and melt in your mouth delicious. The simple tomato sauce, bursting with fresh flavor, complements the gnocchi perfectly. This is a dish that's vegetarian friendly and guaranteed to satisfy. Travel hack. When ordering gnocchi in rum, ask for all gente. That means slightly firm to the bite which is the perfect texture for these little pillows of heaven. Number 1. Simplicity is king, Casio e Pepe. Our final Roman street food champion is Casio e Pepe, a dish that proves you don't need a lot of ingredients to create something truly magical. This simple pasta dish uses just three things, pecorino and romano cheese, black pepper, and pasta usually tonarelli, a long, thin noodle. The key is in the technique. Creating a creamy sauce without any cream at all. Just the magic of melted cheese and starchy pasta water. Casio e Pepe is a testament to the power of simplicity and the quality of fresh ingredients. Pro tip for ordering. When you order Casio e Pepe in Rome, you might be asked Pepe, Pepe. Don't be shy. Tell them abundanti, abundant. Romans love their black pepper. And it's what really makes this dish pop. Bonus. How to navigate Roman street food like a local. When you're conquering a new food scene can be intimidating. So here are some insider tips. Look for pizza or taglio, windows. These are basically street-side pizzerias where you can buy pizza by the slice. Don't be afraid to point. Many vendors won't have menus. So just point at what looks delicious. Cash is king. Well, some places take cards. Many street vendors still prefer cash. Grab a napkin and go. Street food is meant to be enjoyed on the go. So don't expect fancy seating. Sure that you have it, funks.
The top five Roman street food dishes you absolutely need to try on your next trip to the Eternal City. We guarantee your taste buds will thank you. Hey, but wait a minute. Planning a trip to Rome and want to find these amazing street eats near all the must-see sites? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In our next video, we'll be showing you how to find the best street food vendors near all the top tourist attractions in Rome, making your trip planning a breeze. Until then, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you've ever tried Roman street food, let us know your favorite in the comments below. Grazie mio and happy eating.